I was a dirty baby. I spent more time chasing turkeys and little chickens than learning about my culture and my relatives. They were all expert storytellers, and I learned that as I got older. A couple of years later, I was put into a program called Seven Teepees. They gave me this little flip camera, and this is where I began to tell stories. Then they introduced me to Environmental Traveling's Companion. And I was put into a 24-day expedition where I got exposed to kayaking, backpacking, and whitewater rafting. And then the following year, I was co-instructing the expedition. I wanted to document it, but my little flip camera could only do so much. So I needed something better. And I was fortunate enough to get a grant from Seven Teepees, and I went off to buy myself a camera. Then we packed our bags and hit the road. Then I heard about the Wild Image Project. The Power of Nature to Restore the Human Spirit. Daniel Fox was a Fujifilm photographer, Sandis, extreme team member, and the list goes on. He was looking for someone, a young person, to go and experience North Alaska. So he reached out to Environmental Travis Companion, the organization I was working with at the time, and I got connected with him. After a couple meetings, we had a plan set in stone, and the emails started to roll out. I was heading to Southeast Alaska. This was our team. It was sort of like the Avengers. We brought together 15 of the best people you could imagine. And these tarps were our homes. For 30 days, we packed, unpacked, and packed again. On top of that, we were paddling 16 nautical miles on average in the rainforest. Wet clothes, wet sleeping bags, wet tents, wet shoes, soaking wet us. And the days did not get easier. Tell us what just happened. Oh, is a video? Yeah. All right, so we were walking along, paddling, I should say, and it turns out it's low tide, or low tide is a coming, and we just dragged our boats for half a mile, say. I don't know, pretty. It, it was fun. Do it again. It fun. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> Suck ass. It wasn't easy, but we had to keep on moving. We had to make sure to capture as much of the expedition as we could.
through my camera, I was seeing things completely out of this world. But the best part was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. But every great expedition has to come to an end. You will realize that, oh, it's over. And you will get to the airplane and you will see, but there's gonna be a moment for some people, like uh, all this community gone. It will happen. You don't feel it right now, but it will happen at some moment. So when that happened, I want you to remember a quote I love. It's a Dr. Dr. Seuss quote. Don't cry because it's over. Be happy because it happened. Mm -hmm. So, nice. love that one. Well, Marco was right. Our story was now being read by the world. When I came back from the expedition, I started writing for Clay Canteen, Voltaic Systems, and for Knowles. I only have three expeditions under my belt, but soon that will become four, then five, then six. They say the modern environmental movement began the moment humans saw pictures of Earth taken from the moon's surface. I hope one day to move the world with my own images, showing the power and majesty of nature. So our story from the wilderness is really only just beginning. Locked here in night's chain because